Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. This week I'm using a kit from my shop, which was the Pancake Day kit. I did use this last year and I couldn't find another Pancake Day kit that I liked, so I thought I would use it again this year. <laughs> Happy Pancake Day. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Let me know what your favourite topping is on your pancakes down below. We're going to have them for dinner tonight and we have like a whole spread. It's like a whole feast when it's pancake day here. So we're going to be having lots of fruit and fresh yoghurt and kind of like a mix of everything. We don't really have savoury pancakes. My children have never been kind of into that. They like it with fruit or they like it with Nutella and honey. Lots of different things. So. I'm really excited about tonight's dinner. Um, I started with the washi and I pulled it up to the top and the washi in this kit has got the steps on how to make a pancake. If you um, didn't know the steps already, they're in this kit. <laughs> I actually don't make the pancakes in this house. My fiance does. He is a whiz at making pancakes. So that's probably another reason that I'm looking forward to dinner tonight because I'm not actually cooking it. <laughs> So I'm also going to be grabbing my card that I usually cut washi with which is actually a knitting card or a knitting needle card so you can see the size of your knitting needles apparently um, and the pen that I'm using is the Stabilo, somebody told me how to pronounce it, thank you very much. So uh, I'm using that pen, I'll leave the link down to where I buy mine from, I get them from Amazon because I like getting them in a pack as I go through them a lot and once I tried this pen I have never gone back so I'll leave that link down in the description box for you. My shop is always linked in the description box as well if you wanted to go over and check out any of my kits. And then we're going to go in day by day. So I had no work on Monday. I'm using up the last of my holiday because I have to use it all up by the end of this month. I believe that's the last holiday that I have booked. I'm pretty sure. So um, I just used a little quarter box to mark that down. I also have a food shop delivery coming so I use one of the poppets from the home life sheet with the shopping basket and shopping list um, and then my daughter actually had a home day from college because she had like a study day or a catch up day so I just put that down on another quarter box. I put a full box down just to mask off some time as I was helping her with all of her kind of work that she was doing and then I put down a page flag with a little poppet from the feeling sheet as I needed to edit this plan with me. I put a half box down and I wanted to put the poppet highlighter down so I just moved the other poppet up onto the actual page flag so I could fit the little highlighter in. I think I used the last of my highlighters in this spread so I need to get myself some more but um, that was just to mark down that my son had to study for a geography test. And then moving on to today, it's pancake day, so I used the little pancake sticker up at the top. I then put a full box down with the little flipping the pancake. Do you guys flip your pancakes? Let me know that down in the comments as well. We all try to flip one. Over the years, I've kind of perfected my technique. We don't have pancakes dripping off the ceiling anymore. They all land either on the floor or in the pan. <laughs> Um, I also had to order some printer ink. I ordered it Sunday night and I'm really hoping it's here Tuesday because I've run out. Normally I'm pretty good at keeping up with the printer ink that I need and ordering it in before I run out but I'm not sure what happened but I don't have any printer ink so I've got my fingers crossed that it's going to be delivered today and then um, if it does I want to do some printing and cutting and then my son has got a mass test that he needs to study for so I just done the same thing with a half box and a poppet highlighter. And then to mark my uploading of this plan with me, I used a little quarter box. And then moving on to Wednesday, my son has got a school trip. So I just used a poppet with the suitcase from the travel sheet. And then I used a poppet holding a food bag as my other son has got a food tech lesson. So we need to measure out all of his ingredients and make sure he takes those to school. And then I want to film another video on Wednesday. So I just put a half box down with a little film clapper icon. And I want to try and get the um, planning tips video filmed on Wednesday. And I also want to take some new Instagram pictures. So I just write down Instagram pics and then put one of the social poppets down.
to block off some time for filming I just used another full box and then hopefully if my printer ink does arrive today and I got everyone's orders done I can post them out on Wednesday afternoon. So flipping it over to Thursday, I wanted to get an early start on the housework. So I just used a poppet from the home life sheet and then I took another poppet from the home life sheet which has got the laundry basket as I wanted to do some laundry in the morning as well. I put a piece of patterned washi down and the cleaning day sticker and then underneath there I'm just putting a half box with a lunch poppet as I'm meeting up with the family for lunch. A lot of you if you've been subscribed to me for a while know that I've got quite a big family and we spend a lot of time together so we just call ourselves Famalams. <laughs> we have like a really big um, Facebook messenger and that's what our messenger is called and there's like about 50 of us on there. Um, I put a full box down just to mark off the rest of the afternoon and then at the bottom I've got some other homework and things to put down so I was just kind of counting and deciding what to put down but I decided in the end to put a quarter box down to mark that my son has got his history test and then the two smaller page flags are to mark that he has got music homework and chemistry homework. So my younger son has got a lot of work to do this week so I put one of the shocked poppets from the feeling sheet. Moving on to Friday, I put a half box down and just wrote down new release. And this week's new release is going to be these Poppet Couples. They are so cute and adorable. These were originally supposed to be coming out for Valentine's Day, but I wasn't happy with how they kind of turned out. So I held off on them and I kind of started from scratch and I much prefer them now and you can use them not necessarily for like boyfriend girlfriend couples, but also for friends. If you're meeting up with a friend, you can just use this to mark that too. I'm working on Friday so I'd put that on a quarter box that I flipped up onto its side. My son has got his German test so I put one of the little stressed poppets out down as I'm pretty sure by the end of the week he is going to be feeling the stress after all the work he's had to do. My daughter is going to be cooking dinner for everyone which is super cute so I just marked that down. And then I put the weekend banner down at the bottom. I put down the double box and then I put down one of the phone poppets as I need to phone my nan on Saturday morning. I also put down a large page flag as my son will need to start revising for his French test. And then I put down a to clean and a little checklist and I just write down things that I want to get done on Saturday. Which I'm hoping is like a quick tidy, like literally 10 minutes per room because I would have done a lot of this on Thursday. For Sunday I put down a, another poppet from the home life sheet with the washing machine and then it kind of skips to the end of Sunday. I don't really know what happened to the footage, it's just not there. Uh, but it was just the usual of getting things ready for school and things. So flipping over to the sidebar I put the full box up at the top which says how do you like your eggs in the morning and they're like on a pancake. I think this box is super cute. And then I put my two habit trackers down and I just split that up with a piece of patterned washi in between. next week section I put down a next week header and then I put down the weekly box which looks like a stack of pancakes and then right at the bottom there I've just put down a to buy and then here I'm just using the deco that comes with the kit along the bottom and all the deco is kind of like all the ingredients for your pancakes. this is everything that I've got left. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's plan with me. If you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe. I hope you're all enjoying your pancakes today and I'll speak to you next time. Bye guys!